Again, uh, my name is uh, Mushero Wagita, CDTV Kenya, San Francisco. Uh, that is where we come from. Natunawaletea hi lesson ya leo kutoka mujimuku wa San Francisco. And God bless you, and we are thankful to have this chance to meet again. Um, today, like I say, it's, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a good day because um, what I have prepared for you guys is very, very, very important. Um, it's going to be uh, three in one, meaning that we are going to cover three lessons in one session. So sit back and be comfortable. Get your guitar out and let's go to work. Again, my name is Mushero Wagita uh, from CTTV Kenya. Uh, today, we are going to start with what we call fast food. Uh, this lesson is going to help you um, if you are learning and if you know how to do a few rhythms or a few chords. But you have always wondered, um, when you are doing it over here, between just using the three uh, frets, without being able to move up the, uh, the fretboard, uh, you always wonder how people know when they are doing their music, they know how, when they come this over here, how do they know what key is that or what chord is that? And that is the lesson that we're going to have today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to figure out your guitar, uh, the whole e mutiote yapa. You'll be able to tell the different keys going up all the way until we cover the seven keys of music that is A to G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven keys of mu music. We are going to cover those seven keys. And without wasting time, we are going to start with, we call this fast forward. And the reason why I'm giving it the name fast forward is because it's going to, to produce the sound of the fast stream. the F, which is, this is F, F chord, or F key, the key of F, if you strum from string number four downwards, it's going to sound, to produce the sound of the string number one. And that is why we are calling it fast food. It's a nickname, it's not official, but I'm using that so that you can be able to get it or so that I can be able to explain to you 
and so that you can be able to understand and get it. This is very important. This is very important because it opens up uh, it opens up your mind, it opens up your skills. Um, and I, like I said, if you have no clue how people go all the way up here and how do they know which key is that or what chord is that, if you know, if you just know how you are a beginner, let's say for example you are a beginner, and you only know how to use the all the keys that are in the three frets, that is like G, C, and then D, and then F, and then C, and then G7, you know all that. But if I ask you to go, what is this? What key is this? Probably you cannot be able to tell me. So today, the reason why I'm saying it's very, very important because today you will be able to distinguish or you'll be able to know what key is that. Ukitoka uku, kuja uku ju, you will be able to tell the different keys. So let's start. Again, this is the key of F. And you're strumming from string number four, that fret, that finger, uh, string number three, second finger, second fret, string number uh, one and two, unashikana, this first finger, both of them, like this and it will be on the first fret. So that is your F. So we are calling it, we say we will call it first fold because they go, it's going to, pro, all the keys that we are going to cover, they are going to produce the, the sound of the first string. So you have your F there. Since we are not trying to learn all the keys of the music, which is from A, to G, if we are at F, that means the next key, it will be G. But in order to get to G, we are going to pass through a sharp key or a minor a flat key. Meaning, it will, when we get from this right there which is F if we go one step up it will be F sharp again we are coming from here which is F one step up it's F sharp and then if we go another step and you can see it, the guitar has markings over here on top uh, or even here, you see two markings over here. So when we go to the next up, another another uh, another flat, that will be G, because we remember we we are we started with F, and then we went up one step, and we got F sharp, and then we went one more step, and we got our G. So this is the key of G. Remember, they all sound like the string number. Da, da, da. That is why we are calling it fast forward. Don't forget that. That's important. The name fast forward is important. So you have your G right there. And it's the same G right there. It's come on that you are G. It's the same. Okay. So when we come from, uh, from G, that means we are going to go back to A because the keys are from A to G. So that means we are going to go back to A. So if we go one step up, it will be G sharp. If we go another step up, that is your A right there. Because this was G, this was F, this is G, and in between, it can either be F sharp or G flat. G flat and F sharp is the same. Because you can talk a G up, when you look at moja, that is F sharp. You can talk a G, 
you go back one step, that is G flat. So G flat and F sharp is the same thing. So to go A, which is this one, the same. If you if you go back one step, that is A flat or or G sharp. All A flat. So, sasa tu mefika kwa A, we are at A. So, when we go to A, our next key will be B. So, if we go one step up, it will be B sharp. And then if we go another step up, that is your B right there. We have been jumping to two flats all the time to go to the major key. This is F. We to Naruka Biri to Nakuja Kwaji. To Naruka Biri, we come to A. We go up two steps or two flats. That is B. Remember, when you are going from B to C, Unaruka to only one fret. So Kutoka Hapa B, you are going to go to a, uh, I mean C. So don't forget that. When you are going from B to C, it's going to be only one step. You are going to go only one fret up. So this is your B. You jump, come over here too, you go to C. This is your C right there. And it's the same as this. That will be uh, a C sharp, and then to look at another one, that is, that is your D right there. So this is your C. You go up two frets, you go to D. So far, we have covered uh, from uh, F all the way to A, F, G, A. B, uh, C, D, uh, and then now we only have one more left, which is E. So E, again, we are going to jump two frets to get to E. That is your E. So from D, unaruka biri, and then unaingia kwa E. That is your E right there. From from E, you are you remember Lisa. So if you go from E, then you're gonna go uh, F again because we started with F. Ukirukambiri, it will take you back to F because we have covered we have covered um, F, uh, we have covered G, A, B, C, D, E, and then you it's a, it repeats again itself again. So ukitoka kwa E, then you have to go back to the next one will be more steps and then you're gonna go back to F again so it's very very important guys to understand this because it's very very helpful I remember when I learned this I, I said wow because I always used to have uh, problems figuring out how, how are they how are they able to do that 
you know unatoka hapa unakuja huku how you gonna know where to go you know or what to hold you know what key is that so if you study this and you plan it and you know you get it practice practice until you get it so this is f you jump to g jump to a jump to b jump one c remember always from b to c it's one and then you jump to is d you jump to is f no it's a uh, e from d you jump to is e and your fast fold is done your fast fold is done so remember we call it fast fold because in atoa sauti ya fast string and that's just a nickname i'm giving it so that you can i can be able to explain to you that it's sounding all of them will sound like string number 1 bahari umeshikia if you strum it strum all the one string and then you strum wire number 1 string number 1 it will sound the same that's why i'm giving it that fast four And that is why ukitaka kufanya let's say this is a and this is a a lot of people know this a hapa is the same b where is the other e where is the other d and so we are done with the fast fold all you need to do is practice practice until you get the fast fold now we are going to go to second fold this is very interesting guys fold and the reason why we are going to give it second fold is because all the keys that we are going to use or we are going to hold they will produce that sound of string number 2 the key of d and this is d this is the regular d that we we do let's say for example when we are doing erythy and all that we use this d that is the d and 
so we are going to hold the the complete form of D. This finger, first finger, is going basically to hold all the strings from the second fret is going to hold string number three, string number two, and string number one. Basically, that's what you're going to do on, on second fret. I hope you can see. Um, and then the second finger is going to hold string number two, third fret. And then the third finger is going to hold string number four, fourth fret. And the pinky is going to hold string number five, fifth the fret. This key looks intimidating, but uh, don't worry. I remember this key, it in Kariya Sana when I was learning. <laughs> this was not easy for me, but it would be easy for other, somebody else, you know. But that is how you hold the key of D, major key. Where it 
becomes interesting because now you remember your first fourth G, you say, wait a minute. Okay, so there's another G here, which is this one, second fourth. That is your G right there. But if one can do your rhythm here, one can do a rhythm here. Did the first fourth A, which is that one, and this is the other A, second fourth. We started with D. So to Kija all the way to C, then we have completed because they will repeat again. They will, they will start from uh, uh, D again. All right. So um, we have basically covered the second fold, uh, which we started uh, with uh, D. And then from D, we went to E. Tukambiri, tukaenda kwa E Tukaluka kamoja Tukaenda kwa F So from F We go to G Tukambiri, tuende kwa G Tukienda kwa G Tunaluka biri, tunaenda A Tukitoka A Tunaenda B Tunaluka biri, one, two Tunaenda B Then from B Tuna luka kamoja, tuna ingia C, and that is done. So that's the beauty of it. Now you have two forms that when you hold two different keys in different positions, 
you will be able to tell what key is that you are holding. Very important because we to the Angaria the fast phone. We have just some, uh, uh, finished the second fold. Kutoka kwa D all the way to um, uh, C because they repeat after from uki, uki enter all the way to C, then it repeats again. And then now we are going to do the last one, which is, and that's why I wanted to do this together at the same time. So now we are going to the third fold and the final fold. And the third, the third fold, we will start with the key of um, we can start with uh, let me see, we can start with B and, the, and B is we are going to hold a string strings number two, three and four with the third finger to like the zote hapa the whole thing you put your finger out but avoid the first string it needs to be it needs to be kind of uh, like open and then this index finger is going to hold the string number five up here on second on second fret and that is your b right there of B. So, if you remember, to kitoka kwa B, you are sliding only one fret up, and you get to your C. Remember, this is the same C as it. Same C. But this is third fold. This is second fold. And then we have first fold. So you see, it's, it's amazing. Once you get this, if you didn't know, once you climb this and you get it, you'll be surprised, you know, how, how much progress you're going to do and you're going to have progress very quickly. Because now it's like you can, your eyes are open and you can be able to, to, to see or figure out. Uh, you will be, you obviously, you'll be able to tell what you're doing. And, um, it will make it easier for you to learn the guitar. Uh, and this, I remember I did this back in the 80s, and um, it's one, one he, the, the guy used to be a, a primary school teacher, and um, he called me one time, because uh, he used to, he used to, play, um, he used to play, play guitar, and he called me one time and sat me down, and he told me, what I'm going to teach you today, you know, you, you, it will make you open up you know and from now today once you get this you won't have any more problems about going up the scale you know the home in the new york you are not going to have any problem and that's the same thing i'm doing to you i want you to figure to be able to know or to tell instead of just using the chords right around here because most of us or a lot of us actually we start with these simple chords uh, E, e fret tatu, this three frets, you know. If you ask somebody who in Gianauku, they, they don't want it because either Hawaja learn what key other keys are up here, where is the other C, where is the other G, where is the other D, like that. But what I'm teaching you now, it will open up your eyes and you'll be able to tell all that difference. And so we are at uh, third fold and the final one, and that is. The key of B. Tunakamoja tunakuja C. Tunarukambili tunakuja D. Which is this. We did this. Remember the, the major D right there. So it's the same this one. This is that fold. Very interesting. Same D. Same D. Same D. Tunaluka. In Guinea, to na end up kwa E. D, E. And we did our E over here. See? That is why it's, I did one na sema ukitoka. Pa, 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 pa. Ukiladisha. Ukiladisha. 
Yoni, Yoni E. So from pa 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 pa, that's your other E. Na toka E second fold. Na enda first fold, first fold. Na ladisha, that is your other E right there. So um, wacha tu kimariza E, tu kimariza the third fold, and then I'll show you how you, when you are doing rhythm unaweza kuluka from one one key to another instead of just using the the first, the first key you started with you'll be able to talk kwa, kwa that key and then uluke kwa hiyo ingine so we are at uh, D uluke kwa toka kwa D tunaluka mbili tunaenda E bili tunaenda f kwa vile tumetoka kwa e so e f so tume, tumeanza na b na ruka moja tumekuja kwa c we jump to we go to d we jump to we go to e we jump to we go to f tutotoka kwa f tunaenda g and your g is right here and tukitoka kwa G tunaenda A tunaluka bili tunaenda A same A a fast four so tumemaliza because we started on B tumetoka kwa B all the way tukakava mpaka A third fold we have covered first fold second fold and third fold once you get this kama huku au unajua if you don't know how to you know ukienda huku huku juu if you don't know which key or where to go at least this one will it will make it will make you open up your skills you know okay so for example let me see um if i'm doing uh, the key of E and I'm starting with this uh, second fold E and I'm doing a rhythm let's say for example I'm going like this
de fast food. De second food. And then we have G lad food. And fast food. We have covered fast food, second food, and third food. And um, it's my wish and believe that um, this lesson, lesson, the way it's combined like that, it's going to be very helpful and useful for you. The, all those learners who are trying to learn how to, to play the guitar, uh, I'm pretty sure this will be very helpful. Um, again, Asantini Sana, it's been a pleasure um, to work with you guys and to uh, give you this lesson. And I hope that is going to help you uh, in your learning of the guitar. Until next time, it's CDTV, Kenya, San Francisco, Tukiwabia, Waherini, and God bless. Asantini.